Sleeves here, out for a day hike today on the Sumac Creek Trail. It's located just outside of the western Cahetta Wilderness boundary. The trail is a 10.8 mile loop. The trail travels along a ridge top parallel in Sumac Creek and then on the far end of the loop it drops down to a crossing of Sumac Creek and then you climb up to another ridge which parallels the creek back closing out the loop there at the trailhead. We should have the trail to ourselves today. Look forward to uh, finding some neat surprises along the trail and I hope you stick with me. The Sumac Creek Trail is a 10.8 mile loop and this trail here is the trail that I will be returning on to close out the loop. This is one of those times that I hate to leave. Wow, not a soul here but me. Good stuff. Well, I'm at the halfway point. I have walked the ridge on the northern portion of this trail. And now I am climbing back up the ridge to on the southern side. So I am at the halfway point, heading back to the trailhead, making it up the southern part of this ridge. And I have discovered that there is much more fire and storm damage on this side of the trail. I'm sure this is not showing up very well in the video, but Cahutta Mountain still in the clouds. And it's uh, probably, I don't know, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The storm cleared this area out, and there's blowdowns as far as I can see up this ridge. It's going to be a, a very unproductive path on the trail, so I'm going to try to go around, which this is a very steep descent and then a steep climb back out but hopefully I will get around the blowdowns so we'll see well I've made it across that draw there wow it worked perfectly except for falling in a stump hole can't beat that well I made it right up through there and this is where I came out Perfect. On the other side. Neat spot here. Some standing dead pines have opened up a view. Go ahead a mountain. Neat. At about 8.1 miles, you'll come to this barricade here on the trail. Looks like there's a forest service road that comes up. I'm not exactly sure of the number. I have to look that one up. The trail goes to the left here past this gate
So we're definitely on the right trail. I will caution anyone that is allergic to poison oak that this is probably not your trail during the summer. I am blessed not to be allergic to it. So I would definitely caution you against uh, this trail if you are because there is plenty of it. everywhere I haven't seen much wildlife today mainly heard plenty of birds things like that D did not see any bear so far but I did come upon a ferocious beast I was attacked by a stunt hole I'm not sure if you've ever been part of that battle but you're not going to win it will definitely eat you alive and the one that attacked me had me up to my waist so I wanted to get some video but I couldn't get my camera around to get the video of it check this out someone's home and their life savings and crashing down wow to laugh at myself first half of the hike I was walking lightly trying to miss all the sticks and branches and leaves and making sure I was able to sneak up on any possible wildlife that might be there second part of my hike I'm probably somewhere around getting around 10 miles or so but I sound like a bull moose charging through the undergrowth I couldn't sneak up on anything. I am approaching Sumac Creek for the second crossing of my loop. Again, the forest has changed down here in the valley next to the creek. Wrapping up my day hike today on Sumac Creek Trail. It's a 10.8 mile loop crossing Sumac Creek twice as it loops around the wilderness and it is a definitely a trail that uh, you can find peace and solitude on. I saw only one person here today and that was early this morning. I saw a trail runner with uh, her dog and that was it. This trail is for bicycles as well as horses and hikers. But if you're going to take a bicycle or horses along this trail, I would suggest uh, starting in a counterclockwise direction and do the North Ridge first. And then when you get to Sumac Creek, turn around and come back. The Southern Ridge is really riddled with uh, blowdowns and storm damage. It was very difficult to traverse that trail back up uh, to this part of the loop. It has been an interesting trail. I've enjoyed it. Gosh, down there at uh, Sumac Creek where I had lunch was just a perfect spot. Uh, very peaceful. So I recommend the trail. If you'd like to uh, get a good 10.8 miles in, pretty difficult around those blowdowns on the southern ridge, but other than that, I think you'll like it. So this is Sleeves, say until next time, keep hiking. Wow, I have finished the loop. I 
I just checked my mileage and I put in about 12 miles instead of 10.8 so a lot of detours glad to be back